Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my update for the um, project, the advent calendar project uh, that I'm doing uh, with a bunch of lovely ladies. It was started by Helene from mm, Makeup. Um, anyway, um, I'll show you what I was working on. Um, that was at, at the um, last update. I was still working on these. And then I pulled in some more things by myself, and then I'll draw three more, three more new items. So, anyway, um, I had these six I was working on, so I ended up finishing them. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, the all-in-one waterproof. It was good. Um, so I'm trying to go cruelty-free, as you guys know. As you, I can't talk today. I'm trying to go cruelty-free, as you guys know. So, um, I'm still trying to find a micellar water that I like. So far, I haven't really found anything that I like. So, um, I don't know if I'd repurchase this again or not, but if I couldn't find something that I like, I'd probably repurchase that. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Then I finished this, um, First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer. This is really nice. Uh, once I go through some more uh, moisturizers and primers, I might pick this up because I really did enjoy it. Then I had this Earth to Skin Honey Royal Jelly Eye Cream. It was fine. I didn't see any difference, so I don't know. I don't think I'd seek that out again. Then I had this Dewy Tree The Clean Lab AC Dew Foam. I didn't like this. This made my skin very dry, so I wouldn't pick that up again. Then I have this, um, the Becca Skin Love Elixir. Uh, I don't know what it was supposed to do. I, I used it. The dropper on here was terrible. It, like, got, like, a teardrop full, and that's it. So it was a, kind of a pain in the butt to use, but I did use it, and... Wouldn't seek it out again. I don't know exactly what it was supposed to do. And then I used up this um, Jeffree Star and Morphe lip gloss in Iconic. I got it down to there. I mean, I didn't really like it enough to take the stopper out or anything, so I considered this done because it's pretty much gone anyway. So I used up those. I'll show you what I pulled in, and they're also used up. So anyway, hold on one second. Okay, so I pulled, after I finished those six, I pulled in some more items. I have this Freeman Deep Clearing Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Oil Clay Mask and Cleanser. This is really nice. I think I have a full size of this one. I also like the apple cider vinegar one. It's really nice. Then I have this Freeman uh, Cactus and Cloudberry Water Gel Mask. Um... This was okay. I don't think I'd seek it out again. I'd prefer getting this one over that. I finished up the Dragon's Blood from Rodile, the jelly eye patches. These are really nice. Um, I may consider getting some of these once I go through the rest of my eye patches that I have. Because I have a big container that I got from Yes Style, which is a Korean beauty website. Gotta finish those up first before I order some more. But I will definitely... Keep an eye out on that. Because those are really nice. Um, this is the Rhode Isle Dragon's Blood Lip Mask. I didn't see much difference. Uh, I don't know. Some people say lip masks work for them. I didn't see a difference in my lips, so I would skip that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Then I had this little sachet of... Um, Palmer's Coconut Oil uh, Body Lotion. This was nice. Um, I don't think I'd get it again, though. But it was fine. This, though. Oh, my gosh. This was really nice. This is the Avant a Supreme Hyaluronic Acid um, anti Anti-Oxidizing Duo Moisturizer. This was really nice. Because it had hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, um, lecithin, jojoba, avocado. 
This is really nice. Um, its price tag is not nice. It's really expensive. I think this sample, if my calculations are right, just this little sample right here, which is 10 mLs, is uh, $24. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I would get that again if it came out, came in like boxy pop-up, which I think, if I remember right, I did order that. I think it was like, they had it for like 11 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, I'll get that for 11 bucks. <laughs> this is the Pixie Skin Treats H2 Oh, skin drink. I didn't like this. This was kind of sticky. I didn't like how it left my face feeling when I got up the next morning. I felt sticky. So I wouldn't seek this out again. And these were just stupid. This is the Bolero Jelly Face Mask with jojoba oil. There's nothing jelly about this. This is like pure like water. This is like water. But like a sticky type of water. It's weird. I didn't like it. So I just used it on my body. <laughs> Same thing with this. This is the watermelon and vitamin C jelly face mask. No. Like it was like putting water on your face with a weird texture. It was really weird. So um anyway, um give me a second. We're gonna pull three items for this round. Hold on. Okay. I forgot to mention I was still um Working on these two from the samples I pulled by myself. This is the Ilya um, Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Just a little sample guy. Then I have this um, Good Molecules Clarifying Cleanse Bar. So I'm still working on those. So these are the three I pulled. I whoops. This is the Kitty Girl Pink. Um, body lotion, just a little sample body lotion. Um, I had another one of these Rodal Dragon's Blood Lip Masks. And then I had another one of these, um, Manuka Honey and Tea Tree Oil Cleanser. So, that's what I'm pulling for this month. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please check out the uh, ladies listed down below in the description box. Um, they'd love to have some love and some likes. Um, give us a thumbs up if you like, uh, panning videos. Subscribe if you have not. We'd love for you to join the family. And click that bell if you like more notifications from me. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.